Today's parable is taken from Luke's Gospel. If you don't know what a parable is, don't worry, it's just a fancy word for story. And if you want to read this story in your own Bible, you can find it in Luke's Gospel, chapter 15, verses 1 to 7. That's page 1113 in my Bible, if that helps you. And we're going to start our story here. Now, many dishonest tax collectors and other notorious sinners would often gather around to listen as Jesus taught the people. And this raised a lot of concern with another group of people called the Pharisees. They were the religious leaders, experts of the law at the time, and they were indignant. That's they grumbled, complained, saying, look at how this man Jesus associates with all of these sinners. He welcomes them to come to him. How dare he do that? Now Jesus heard their grumbling, and in response, he decided to tell them this story. There was once a shepherd who had a flock of a hundred sheep. He loved each and every one of them. He even named them all. He could tell them all just by looking at them. For example, this one there, that one's called Tim. That one over there is called Sally. That one there is Peter. This pretty sheep's called Phil. The shepherd helped his sheep. He'd find the best green grass. He looked for nice clean water so his sheep could have a drink when they were thirsty. And when dangerous animals like bears, lions would come and try to hurt his sheep, the shepherd would protect them. He would stand between them and the dangerous creatures and animals. He would even have to fight them and beat them away to protect his beloved sheep. Now, sometimes the sheep would wander away from the rest of the herd and the shepherd would have to call out the sheep's name. And when the sheep heard the shepherd's voice, the sheep would turn and run back to his shepherd. That was how close the relationship was between these sheep and their shepherd. Every night, the shepherd would count his sheep. He would make sure that all a hundred were there. He would never even sleep while counting sheep. Isn't that amazing? The shepherd loved his sheep and the sheep knew and loved their shepherd. It was an amazing relationship. Now one evening when the shepherd was counting his sheep, he noticed something strange. He noticed that one of his sheep was missing. How do you think the shepherd felt at that moment? Do you think the shepherd would just say, oh well, it doesn't matter, who cares? You know, I'm just happy that 99 sheep are okay. I won't worry about that one little sheep. One little sheep is not very important to me. I have 99 others. Of course not. The shepherd loved his sheep. He was immediately filled with worry and concern, wondering where his sheep had got to. And so the shepherd left the 99 sheep in a safe place to look for the one missing sheep. He searched in the village, but he couldn't see the sheep there. He went to the caves, but he couldn't see the sheep there. He searched up the mountain and the sheep wasn't there. He searched on the lowest plains and he couldn't see the sheep. Day and night, the shepherd searched for his lost sheep. He never gave up. He never lost hope. He would keep looking everywhere until he found that one lost sheep. Then way off in the distance, the shepherd saw him. That one lost sheep. When he found him, he was so excited, overjoyed, he couldn't believe he had found his lost sheep. He lifted the sheep onto his shoulder and carried him all the way back to the other 99. When he got home, he called his friends, neighbours and said, Come, let's have a party. Celebrate with me the return of my lost sheep. It had wandered away, but I found it and I brought it home. After Jesus had told this parable, he explained to the Pharisees and the people what it meant. You see, the Pharisees were complaining, saying that because Jesus was hanging out with people they viewed as sinners, as less as them, that Jesus was somehow tainted by this. But you see, Jesus said this, there is more joy in heaven 
over one sinner rescued than over 99 good people in no need of rescue. You see, Jesus was saying that God is like this shepherd in the story, that he loves us like the shepherd loved and knew his sheep. God focuses in on those who are lost, who are in trouble because he cares for us. You see, every single person is important to God. He doesn't want even one person to be lost. And so like the shepherd, God is searching and seeking for his lost sheep.